Hello everyone. Um, this is Healthy Beginnings coming back to you uh, to give you another health tip. Um, this time, um, I just want to thank all my subscribers for a great year. Um, love you guys and thank you guys for all the prayers. Thank you. Um, so, um, and thanks for, um, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, but I just had, um, I hope I'm not going to be the only one that goes through this. Um, but have you guys ever had a deodorant that really didn't hold up to the amount of money that you had to spend to think that you're going to get a great antiperspirant deodorant? <clears throat> Excuse me, because I'm still trying to get over the flu. Um, but I used to... First, you know, maybe they changed the formula over the years. I don't know. But I used to tell people, I said, man, I used to love Secret. I said, but Secret didn't keep my secret. She would tell my secret, okay? Secret would look like a user, like you'd be thinking you're about to have a, a confident and waving, and you'd be like, oh, my God, my armpits are just like, who smell like an onion, okay? So, um... And one year, uh, I just got tired of that. And I made some deodorant, and um, it came out fine. But what I did was I, I added um, perfume. And <clears throat> the article said to add perfume, not oils. So I did that, and it, la it worked for like a week. But then my arms start peeling. So... Um, I have, excuse my dog, that's probably my husband pulling up. I have a natural deodorant that I want to share with you guys. Um, what you're going to need, you're going to need a container like this. Um, this is just, I like to recycle my containers that I have to stop having to spend so much money on different things. Um, and then the deodorant, I mean the toothpaste, this is what I end up putting my toothpaste in after I made my toothpaste. It's a glass container. It's from um, uh, the Better Than Bouillon Cube container. Um, so I'd like to save everything, recycle everything. But you're gonna put your um, your deodorant in here. You probably have a little bit left over, so I have another container of this that I can put this in. But this just is gonna be my container. You'll be be able to easily rub it on your armpits. Okay, you're going to need a container, you're going to need a spoon, you're going to need some cornstarch, you're going to need some eucalyptic, shea butter, um, a measuring cup if you choose, I really don't like measuring, and a container to uh, mix it all in. Um, some arrowroot, um, coconut oil, and this deodorant, I, I, I stopped making it because, um, I burnt myself and I was just too scarred to do it, but it worked for me, um, and I was confident, and so when I raised my arms, I didn't feel like, you know, um, I didn't need to have you have my arm up or trying to hug anybody. You're going to need some rosemary. You're going to need some vitamin E oil. Some baking soda. And some lavender. And you're going to need some tea tree. I'm going to list all everything that you're going to be using in the bottom of the, the video. So, um, in the description of the video. But this deodorant is not going to stop you from sweating because you don't want to stop sweating. That's one thing you don't want to do. Because if you stop sweating with putting deodorants on, then your duck, your arm duck pit um, and lip nodes under there is going to get clogged up. And then you're going to have like big risings. Um, they, um, 
So you want your arms to sweat. This this deodorant is not going to help you stop sweating. It's just going to eliminate the odor. Um, and you wonder why you're having such, like your shirt be so um, brown underneath. It's because the aluminum that be in the uh, the deodorant and uh, different and the pressurants. I can't, that word is just like not rolling off my tongue right. Um, <clears throat> but this deodorant, I like it from when I, I made it the last time. I just that I put perfume in it instead of, um, using, um, uh, essential oils. So we're going to get started. I'm going to pause the video so I can focus the camera down because I don't do measurements. But if you have a bigger container than mine, the measurements will be one fourth, um, uh, on the, I think, wait a minute, it's going to be one-fourth on the shea butter, one-fourth on the coconut oil, and everything else is going to be like a teaspoon, so, okay, I'm going to start with the coconut oil, oh, let me stop, one moment. Okay, so I'm just going to move the bowl over and then I'm going to put it in here because this is one fourth cup and I think it's going to make, it's going to make more than that. So that's one fourth and you can melt yours if you want. I just don't um, want to melt mine. I want to everything to incorporate together. The reason why I don't like measuring because especially like um this is like you leave a lot of it behind in so I like to just drop it in the uh, the thing so I'm gonna give it one more spoon because I know that's not all of it okay I'm gonna put one more spoonful in there and you're gonna need a fork as well. I have two spoons that I'm going to be working with. Okay. And you're going to need one fourth of um, shea butter. I'm learning to make things uh, on my own for my family. Um, why? It's because if we ever go through um, a state of emergency and we can't get to the store, um, you will want to already know how to do these things for your family. And for yourself so I might end up heating this up uh, anyway um, okay now we're gonna put the, uh, the arrow root in here this is brand new arrow root so I don't want to get it all over oh, I did man kind of mess with this Our root is going to help with um, the absorbance of moisture as well as uh, the, to thicken the, the deodorant. So you're going to put like a one teaspoon of this. I already got some in it. Ah! I'm making a mess. I'm not going to stop this deodorant. I mean this deodorant tutorial. I'm just making a mess with that. Mm, we know we got a lot of that in there. <laughs> but I'm going to put the measurements, correct measurements for you guys. Just want to show you how to make it. I'm not uh, stopping this because I want to go ahead and get this done. Top this back up. I'm making a mess, you guys. And you want to do... 
use the same with the uh, baking soda. Okay. You see my fingers? I got stuff everywhere. That's okay. I'm making something good. Okay. For the vitamin E oil, this is just going to, for the vitamin C oil, it's just to condition the skin. So you want two drops of this. Ooh, I got more than one drop. Good conditioning. And, um, what is this? Rosemary, you want two to three drops. Okay. Two, three. Three drops of rosemary. Okay. And the eucalyptic. This is this is just to help um, remove the odors as well. Three drops of that as well. Ooh, coming out fast. Like hurry up, get off me. And the lavender. The lavender is just to um it acts like a anti antibiotic. It has into into bacterial properties that help keep the bacteria at bay and at the and antiseptic qualities and heals the skin. So we're gonna do ten drops of this. Okay, maybe a little bit more tin drops. And you want tea tree. You know tea tree all is like a uh keeps down bacteria and just getting all that arrowroot out and waste all over. So you want like ten to fifteen drops of this. So you want to mash this all up. It's kind of cool in here. Tell me if I'm gonna get it all mashed and incorporated good. It smells so good. You know how you don't want to have the other way you be smelling like a man. So I might end up putting this in the um it would work better if I was standing up over it to mash it a little bit better. But this is going to be good for you, um, for your armpits. Because, man, I have a dragon. A dragon armpit. Excuse me, uh, because my phone is doing all that shaking. I'm not tr trying to, um... I'm sorry for it. One moment. Hold on. Let me see if I can adjust it a little bit. Mm. Just want to keep mashing it to get everything together. And you're going to be happy with this deodorant. Um. Cause I'm so sad. Even I had bought the. Um, I should have brought those to to show you proof. Of. Before I stop this video, I will go get them. I had Tom's and something else. They ate my arms up, and I was like, man, this is supposed to be something good and natural here, but it's not for me. Oh no, I said not for me. Not to be burning me like that. That's not for me. Mm mm. So, I immediately did away with that. And they used to make Tootsie. Tootsie used to work real good for me, but it looked like they changed that too. And I barely see Tootsie, um, the Tootsie deodorant around anymore. And um, that deodorant used to do good for me too. But, like I said, this deodorant is not to stop you from sweating because, like I said, you don't want to. Uh, clog your sweat ducts up because that's when you get all that 
nasty mess that comes out of it, messing up your clothes, staining them, your, cl your clothes, especially a white shirt. You're like, man, why is my armpit um, shirt wet under the, my armpits where my shirt is? It's so dark because your yes, the way your body spits out all those chemicals. Um, so, but we're going to put it in this container here. Um, I'm moving the container over and I'm bring this one that I'm putting it in. And, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. I thought it was going to make too much, but it's going to be enough. I'm just going to have to pack it in there. It's still got a little bit more to go. And you just rub this in. This is another thing that you can do um, for the, like the um, you can use the oils that I used to for herpes. And you can use this because you want to try to um, put the oils and have it all over the body so the, the virus don't have nowhere to hide. You don't want to give it no space. You, you know, if it runs here, run there. You don't want to give it no space to run nowhere. Um, I'm going to pack this down in here. Um, but one moment. Let me go and see if I don't. You guys, let me pause it. One moment. I'm back. I don't know what I did with the Tums, but I got it from um, Whole Foods. Uh, probably just throwed it away. It's unnecessary stuff to have in your home. But anyhow, I hope you guys like this. But what I was saying, you can use the same oils that you would use in the herpes oils and use it um, for deodorant. I gave you the ingredients. You could just add the oils to it. Uh, to have your oils because you want to have uh, the the oils everywhere. And like I said, till next time, like, comment, subscribe, share. And till next time, you guys be blessed.